after the crushed bee, what happened was I ended up crushing a poor bee underneath this new bottom. And when you crush a bee, they let off a pheromone that lets the other bees know that the hive is in danger. And you can see I'm standing next to the hive again. It's been a been about an hour or so we let them calm down now they're going back to their going back to business they're swarming like they always do around me but they're not stinging me the this is the hive we got from Bill and I replaced that center box because I wanted to redo it a little bit because the frames in that box were kind of sagging down it wasn't setting but we didn't find the queen in that second or the top box. There was a lot of honey and a lot of, I didn't find any eggs in it. And I didn't get into the bottom because once I put this other box back on and crushed that bee, it kind of caused a lot of problems. So we just left them alone. I'll, I'll get into it in, in another day or two. And uh, I just made the mistake by not bringing my smoker out and smoked the top when I put the box on. When I put the box on, it crushed the bee. And that's the wrong thing to do. This is the, the hive we got from Keith, and they seem to be doing very well. They're getting oriented to the area. They're uh, getting used to being here. Zoom in a little bit and you can see the activity. And yes, I did get stung, and I got stung four shots, but that's... I've been stung before by hornets and everything else, and didn't have any problems. You can see they've calmed right down. This is the, the hive that I got stung at. And the activity outside here, their wings are nice and tight. They're not spread apart, so it lets me know there is a queen in there, and they are go coming and going like they should. Some of them are bringing in pollen, and they're doing their part. So we'll take and continue with the sugar water and give them what they want. What we're doing is I've got to take the hive, the very first one we got from Naples, and uh, those bees are just about had it. I've got another hive coming tomorrow morning, and that'll give us three, three working hives, and uh, we'll become the beekeepers we, we want you to see. Okay, um, let me take you over to the. I gave them a little more sugar water. Let me show you what they're doing. standing on the screen in those little green cubes and drinking up as much sugar as they can and they're running it back to the hive. I haven't got too far away but I got far enough away that if there are any robber bees in here they're not being attracted back to the hive where there's going to be fighting and swarming and more stinging. Ruthie didn't get stung by the way just so everybody knows. But I myself am still no suit so you can see I'm doing what I can to keep them sweating to death inside that suit and I'm not afraid to get stung a little bit this is the first bunch of stings I got only because like I said I took that older hive body off put a newer put the frames into this newer body and then I should have smoked the edge of it and got all the bees down inside the bottom box before I set the top one on there and I didn't have my smoker out and going so all it did was uh, just irritate the bees and you shouldn't have the hive open too long because they don't like to have the have that sun beating down on them and they don't like to be harassed too much so I got what I accomplished um, I wanted to see the queen but there's more time to it the next time I'll take this body off and look into the bottom and check and see what's going on down there 
but one mistake I made was this this hive is a little more ornery than what this hive was. This hive is nice and calm. I haven't got into it yet, but it's, it'll be a week before I do that. I did get into it enough to take the top off and put the frames in it and uh, cover it up and let them let them orient themselves to the area. These guys, if they continue to be ornery, we will replace the queen with a nicer queen later on. It won't be right away, but I want them to build up their I want them to build up their hive and you'll be along for the ride when you see us doing what we're going to do, but I'm not going to mistake get do the mistake of getting in that hive again without some smoke because they are a little bit testy. All right. This is Clay from Popel's Backyard Farm. Hope you enjoyed it and kind of an update to let you know everything worked out okay. All right. Bye-bye.